hopefully my little ingenious plan comes off that you didn't even know but I don't know we'll see Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's walk around and have a look. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Hey, man. Okay. Hey, yet? Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on, man. Try going to Blackwell. Insane. So I hear. You were at all. I miss her a I had to clear away another batch of dick. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. And I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding, not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here, unless you know something I don't. What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like the time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground, and chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, Sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. 
Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you did. So you haven't seen nothing at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. After what happened this week, I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you, you might be the wisest. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Oh, Max. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Kate was the sweetest student I've ever met at Blackwell. And they can be so cruel to each other. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. That was a long Maybe conversation. Not around. Makes me I should go back to Chloe. Yeah, it's been too Max. Close. Been a tough week. The one who sounds a bit like a pedo. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Blackwell is so sad and quiet since Kate isn't here anymore. Yes. And you can tell that the campus is different now. And you reached out to her when everybody turned away. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more Helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. You don't sound sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. The end. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I just look at everything from a different angle. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they, they just cry. Do you think this is some kind of eco-disaster, or? I think it's more than that. 
Somebody is causing all this to happen. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Oh, well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Why is he lightning too. in the background? If something happened to them, oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Changes in real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And, and Max, I don't like it at all. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Lambert is waiting too. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. I'm sorry. I better get going now. Scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention Paul Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. I don't think the Tobango will ever give up any secrets to us. Photo. Here's another One photo. possible achievement. For posterity. <laughs> another photo. I think that's probably another achievement. Thank you very much. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room.
Ah, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Oh, you Bigfoots. This can only be Nathan's room. Now I need to find Nathan's phone, or anything with clues. That is so Chloe. Oh my God, Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Nathan is way into this party. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you and why Kate will get just it. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome and far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. These films all have a dark pattern. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Nathan took this from Kate's altar. Why? What is with this dude? Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Come on, Max. You're in the belly of the beast. Sir, that monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <sighs> Bastard. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but that's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. Nathan clearly has his fetish down. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. 
That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Nathan is way in too yeah. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Uh, Get off me, bro! Uh, oh. uh. I don't know. Stop, Paul. Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh, oh my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You! And you! You're all dead! Let's go. Now! Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you! Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. I'm going to leave this part right here and if you enjoyed this part of the long video then please leave a like and if you want to subscribe then hit that subscribe button at the end of this video and I'll see you in the next part.